Okay, so GoFest 2024 starts this weekend, and with it come an honestly unreasonable number of raids. Okay, there's like so many five-star raids, I can't even keep track of them. I can't remember what they are, but uh, I've made videos for some of them, but not all of them. For example, I've missed uh, Pheromosa, Zerkatree, Necrozma, um, but we're going to fix all of that. We're going to fix it in this video because I have footage from absolutely everything now. We're going to cover all of the existing five-star raids right now including the ones that I missed. You can use the chapter markers if you want to go to one in particular, but I'm just going to go through them in the order that they show on this website, because I don't know what order it should be. These happen to all be Ultra Beasts, except for Necrozma, so it's kind of nice. It's a cohesive video. I can give it a nice title. But they're just a bunch of raids, so let's go through them. So we're going to start with circle locking, as I do in all of my videos, and I'm just going to explain how this works, okay? So you have to hold down on the ball until the circle gets small enough for an excellent throw. That means the catch circle has to be less than 30% of the diameter of the gray circle, and then you let go, and then once the Pokemon attacks, then you can throw the ball, and when the catch circle reappears, it will still be the right size for the excellent throw. Throughout the video, I'll show you diagrams like this one, where I've plotted all of the release points for excellent throws. That means the point where my finger left the screen. In practice, this gives us a pretty good idea of how to do the throw. So let's start off with Nihilego. This one is a pretty normal throw, just to the upper left of the Pokémon. You need a moderate release speed, and there's nothing too special about this. Here are a couple of examples. If you want to go fast, you might also want to throw at it when it's in its up position, which is actually pretty easy to do for this one. Next, let's look at Buzzwool. Buzzwool is also not too bad. You basically just throw a little bit to the upper left of the Pokémon with a pretty hard throw. Let's look at a couple more examples. Pheromosa is another pretty straightforward one. You need to throw just a little bit to the upper left of the Pokémon. The main complication with Pheromosa is that its attack animation is really long. You have to wait a little bit longer than you expect to throw the ball. Here are a couple more examples of Pheromosa. Zerkatree is again pretty similar. We're just throwing to the upper left of the Pokémon with a moderate speed. Let's look at a few more Zerkatree examples. Now let's move on to Celesteela. Celesteela is pretty interesting because it's actually very far away. I found that basically I just have to fling the ball at the top of the screen as hard as I can. I've tried to show that in the point cloud with the points being right at the edge of the screen. It's actually not that hard once you get the technique down, but figuring out how to throw that fast can be a bit challenging. Let's look at a few more examples of Celesteela. Now we reach Kartana. Kartana has a pretty big reputation as one of the most difficult raid bosses to catch. I find it's actually not too bad once you learn it, but it definitely is on the difficult side. It has a really small catch circle, so you need to make sure to make it small enough to get the excellent throw. Then you just kind of throw at the side about level with the Pokémon. Let's look at a few more examples. Now let's have a look at Guzzlord. Guzzlord, despite its big size, is deceptively difficult. I still struggle with consistency on this one, but basically you need to do quite a hard throw to the upper left of the Pokémon near the edge of the screen. Let's look at a few more examples of Guzzlord. Now we reach Necrozma, which isn't technically an Ultra Beast, but is caught with a Beast Ball right now for some reason. This is actually quite annoying for me, because Beast Balls have an extremely high catch rate compared to Premier Balls. This means I had to do three or four raids to collect the footage that I'd normally get in one video, since it would catch after one or two balls. The excellent throw itself is nothing special. It's not too hard. Just throw moderately hard to the far upper left of the screen. Here are a few more examples of Necrozma. Next, let's look at Stack Attack. This one also has a fairly difficult throw. Despite it being quite large, the throw can be fairly precise. I find you have to release at a fairly precise point to the upper left of the Pokémon near the edge of the screen, similar to Necrozma, but more precise. Let's look at a couple more examples of Stack Attack. And finally for the raid bosses, let's look at Blacephalon. This one is also not too bad, but feels a bit different to me than the others. The release point is right beside the Pokémon's head, almost inside the catch circle, and it doesn't require a very hard throw. Let's look at a couple more examples. Now that's all the raid bosses, but we can't cover almost all the catchable Ultra Beasts without also covering the final one, Poipol. Look at that little guy. And that's it for all the raid bosses. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.